Based off the title of this video, you know exactly what we're doing today. We're going to be discussing whether or not the new Prada loafers are worth your money. I don't know if they are. story on these shoes. So I saw the shoes probably in November or December of 2020 and I decided that I did want to try and seek these out. Unfortunately, they were sold out everywhere. I could not get my hands on them either here in Canada or in the US. So in January, very early in January, right after Christmas, there was a restock of these shoes on the whole rent for website and I was able to grab these shoes. Now the reason why I don't know whether or not these loafers are worth your money is because there are so many loafers out on the market that you can purchase and they don't have to be this specific pair. I actually have found a pair of loafers at Zara on sale um, that are a great alternative to the Prada version. Don't forget to watch until the end of the video to make sure that you see some of my styling tips on how to wear loafers this season. Here are my Prada loafers. For reference, I did wear a size seven in my Prada boots, although in these shoes, I did go down a half size and got them in a six and a half. I did find that the toe box on the front of the shoe in the size seven was just a little bit too long for me. Although on the six and a half, I do find them to be a little bit tight across the top here. Although they are a leather shoe, a genuine leather shoe, so they will stretch out. And I do not think I will be wearing these shoes with socks or at least not a thicker sock. I'm just gonna read out the description on the website for these shoes. It says, crafted in Italy, these leather loafers are distinguished by the chunky rubber sole and the product recognizable emblem metal triangle logo on the leather saddle strap. The apron is defined with a raised sitch edge. The upper leather, so upper is leather, the lining is leather, the sole is rubber, um, the toe style is round, it's got a chunkier sole. They are slip-on. As I said before, they are made in Italy. They say that they fit true to size, although, like I said, because I'm not wearing socks with them and they are genuine leather, I did opt for a size six and a half, which is half a size down from my standard size, or 36 and a half, and it has a heel height of 2.2. Here are the shoes that I picked up from Zara. These were on sale for $39.99. Now, not an exact duplicate of the Prada shoe, but a great alternative. They do have laces on the front. They do have that kind of chunkier sole in comparison to the Prada shoes. But I do think that these are a great alternative if you're looking for the look on a budget. But are the Prada worth their $1,100? price tag. Now, when we compare the Prada shoe to the shoe from Zara, you can definitely tell just by looking at the shoe the difference in the quality. So when we look at the quality of the leather, you can definitely see the difference in the luster, um, as well as how this leather is slightly bumpier. Of course, they are not an identical style, but I think that they are a good comparison. Um, the Prada shoe does have more of a classic loafer look, where this one, sole, better compares to, I would say, my Prada boots, with kind of a tighter tread look versus this smooth, chunky look. When you're looking at the stitching on these shoes, you can definitely tell the difference in the quality between the Zara shoe and the Prada shoe. My first impression of the shoe is that they are a classic with a modern twist. I think everyone should have a pair of loafers in their wardrobe. They can be dressed up and down. I will be sharing some of my style inspirations on how I will be wearing these shoes in the upcoming season. I think they 
all have their moment. And I definitely think that Prada is having a moment in time right now. They recently had the release of the Prada re-edition, which was very successful in 2020. They also have their new bag that they have just released in 2021, late 2020. Um, they've had the Prada boots um, in both the tall and the short version, which have been very successful. And now the Prada loafer is also trending in the shoe category. Now the Prada loafers do come in with a hefty price tag of $1,120 Canadian. And if there is anything that Prada is known for doing is price increases. So I would definitely suggest that if these are a pair of shoes that you are interested in purchasing, that you probably try and get your hands on them as soon as possible because price increases are pretty much guaranteed on these shoes. The real question though is whether or not the Prada loafers are worth your money. And in my opinion, at this point in time, the Prada loafer is absolutely worth your coins. This opinion on the shoe may change over time as one or maybe numerous price increases come down the pipeline as the shoes gain more momentum. A loafer style shoe is not going anywhere and i do think that these are a pair of shoes that can carry you through multiple seasons and multiple years i definitely look forward to wearing these shoes this year comment down below and let me know whether or not you think the prada loafers are worth your money or my money or whoever's money you're spending i don't know whose money you're spending